the following the contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 482 pounds, the and I gotta say, champion. you wouldn't know this was a non-title match just Jackson by looking at the champ. Wayne yeah, he approaches every Daniel match the same, regardless Daniel. of whether his championship's on the, the line. Wolfpack. You have to respect that about him. Wolfpack. That'd be a good name for Will Wolf and Alexander Wolf. Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh man, Michael, six man matches like this always remind me of world class back in the 1980s. I'm calling you out. Fun fact, that is what Jeff Hardy is going to look like in seven years. Exciting six-man tag team match coming up here, gentlemen. Michael, ever since this match was announced, I've gone back and forth as to which team I think will walk away victorious. At this point, I'd say it's just too close to call. Uh, John? Jonathan Davis is actually said that he's actually somewhat interested in facing Sponge Pizza for the YouTube Championship at Fastlane. Could end up being a six pack challenge. Actually, no, Fatal Five Way. And from Ann Arbor, Michigan, weighing in at 239 pounds, Jonathan Turner. We're just moments away from what will likely be one Bryan, of those exciting six-man tag team matches. Said We've seen that in a very he's long not time. going to face well, any of the people two teams that we are in that ring. Tonight, I would say I have no choice but to agree with you, Cole. Right before the six-man tag team match. 
And then Shane McMahon comes out and tells him that it's going to be Kofi. Kind of surprising when you think. Wait a second. And their partner from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 180 pounds, James Hacksaw. That's James Hatfield. Mom, inside this pit of danger. The place where no one follows me. This one should be great, guys. Six-man tag team action coming up. Yeah, this one's a can't-miss, Michael. Anytime you put six superstars like this in the same match, you're guaranteed excitement. All these people talking out their heads. Because when Daniel Bryan was general manager, He was, he was very, he was actually, like, he was still a complete baby face, and so was Shane. I know the world has fallen on my shoulder. If no one follows me, I walk alone. Six man tag oh, man. matches are always chaotic. Oh, 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 oh. Buckle up and get ready. That's what you get for taking underway. my title. We've seen some amazing six man tag team matches in the past, and I'm sure this one will rank right up there with some of the best. Snake Eyes! That's a new move I've never seen him pull off. Spine Buster. Jonathan Davis. Tags in rating game who, who there then tags in. when a six-man tag Hatfield. match will feature a team where superstars have not always seen eye to eye or are in the midst of a disagreement. Imagine if this case, actually happened in real life. Step up and be the voice if, of reason so the trio can if, function as a cohesive If James unit. Hatfield and Jonathan Davis met up in a WWE ring. Who would get the crap beaten out of them? Harsh impact. He's got the shoulders down. It's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. Too early in the match to end it. Corey, earlier you talked about what needs to happen when members of a six-man team have differences or had differences in the past. If the team can't find a way to get on the same page, they will not last very long. Someone on the team has to step up and make sure for at least that match, everyone on the team can work together. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Whoa, Hurricane Rana. Rana! Hurricane Rana from James Hetfield. He's starting to stagger a bit. I think it's safe to say that the action so far in this six-man tag team match is exactly what we expected. Nothing to worry about here, Cole. I know it's somewhat early Jeez. still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. Took him out at the knee! Took him out at the knee! Something that is always important in a six-man match is having the ability to perform the double-team moves. One of the things that successful six-man teams try and execute are double-team moves, and then...
Had the third team member perform a signature or finishing maneuver to deliver maximum impact to an opponent. Teamwork is always paramount in a six-man tag match. Superstars want to be able to have a level... Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game-changer right there, Michael. He stopped his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Oh, this is dangerous right here. Down with force. That's all you don't see all He's the time. Covered. The man in his 50s... Hitting frog splashes like nothing. Just needs to do more damage. Cross the shoulders. Oh, nasty impact. But he's running off. He goes for the cover. One. Thanks to Raw General Manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose. The exciting trio took on Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz. Truth be told, both Miz and Ambrose blended in with their impromptu tag team partners pretty well. Byron, we always make a point yeah. to talk about continuity Flat amongst Jack. team members. In the six-man match, where Dean Ambrose teamed with the Hardys against Sheamus Cesaro and The Miz, both teams worked very well together. That surprised me, since this was the first time they teamed together. But there was something that night about the lunacy of Dean Ambrose fitting perfectly with the Daredevil Hardy boys. I've got to say, I had goosebumps for a week after the Hardy Boys returned to WWE oh. at 2017's WrestleMania. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. it up a bit maybe implement more of a power game into his offense but if you're counting him out now you haven't been paying attention he has more resolve than just about anybody on the roster oh boy he is rolling cutting it close here guys what a coward he's trying to get himself counted out Cole inside the ring now Six-man tag team matches have been a staple of competition since the early days of sports entertainment. Two teams of three compete against one another under traditional tag team rules. Stipulations can be added like no disqualification, two out of three falls, elimination, falls count anywhere, or whatever else. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Something big is coming. Six-man tags can be fought under so many different types of stipulations. Teams can be part of the faction. That's what he might want a strike right on the mark. So impressive. One of the greatest oh, strikers in the fresh? game right now. Vicious attack. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. See a human being tossed like that. Set it up. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. There are family trios like the Guerreros, the Grams, the Andersons, and the Von Erics. There have been members of factions who have also produced tremendous six-man teams, like the fabulous Freebirds, the Four Horsemen, the NWO, and D-Generation X. Oh, school! And the rope forces the break. You know, I really thought he was smart to a submission so close to the ropes, but I guess not. Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. Talking more about factions. Don't forget about the likes of the Hart Foundation, Evolution, the Wyatt Family, the Shield, and the New Day. 
These are only some of the trios who had unbelievable matches against a variety of adversaries. If we're talking about three-man teams, I need to shout out one of the baddest trios of all time who held the World Six-Man Championship on a number of occasions. I'm talking about the American Dream Dusty Rhodes and the Road Warriors. When the Dream put on the face paint, you knew it was going to be a bad night for their opponents. He's looking at it. Oh. Can he end it here? He knows he's in trouble. Oh, code breaker! Game, set, match. This, this one is over. Max Handle finds its target. Down with a face buster. a bit off his game here. And you know all three of the superstars he's up against won't back down at any point during this match. When you put that much meat in the ring, somebody's going to get hurt. And unfortunately for him, he's the one on the receiving end of this inevitable beatdown. This could be trouble, guys. His opponent has finally found an opening, and he doesn't look too eager to relinquish it. Gets the tag. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Ooh-wee! Throws him over for the pin. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting Ooh. to build. He's showing the heart of a warrior here tonight. And he controls the pace of a match, quite like this guy. Going for the big one. In 2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a sick and twisted rivalry with the Wyatt family. Things escalated to the point where Bray Wyatt invited the New Day to do battle at the Wyatt family compound. New Day accepted, but what followed was something no one expected or will ever be able to forget. The fist has been dropped. Oh boy, he is rolling. Corey, we've talked about six-man tag matches, and earlier you talked about one that caught the attention of the entire sports entertainment world. The New Day fought for survival amongst the darkness of the Wyatt family compound in a battle where pickaxes and cinder blocks were used as weapons and automobiles were used as battering rams. The New Day versus the Wyatts at the Wyatt family compound was not your traditional six-man tag match, but it showed what can happen when issues between factions can't be resolved through a sanctioned WWE match. I'll tell you what, none of the men who fought in that conflict will. This combo is out of it. It's a Luder combo. One. He's back in control here. When a superstar is in a six-man match, one of the most a bone breaker. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. A takedown of colossal proportions right there. How much more punishment needs to be dished out? Just finish it. You have to wonder how much longer he can go on like this. Corey, you spoke about when a superstar is in six-man action and how crucial it is that they have a presence of mind to realize when they need to tag out. Not everyone who competes as part of a six-man team has the ability to do that. We've seen many times over the years that a superstar's inability to do that has cost their team the match. We've also seen over the... Here he goes. Stunner. That might just be the final nail in the coffin. Breaking the rules. Oh, a flying forearm on the mark. Go no high oh. impact. Both of these men are down. What a hellaciously physical match these gladiators have put themselves through. The intense... Oh! <laughs> Here's his moment, Michael. Given the number... We got a cover! One, two, three! <laughs> what an amazing six-man tag match. Well, tag team matches are one thing, but make it three on three, and it's three times as good. Take a look.
These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. I'm not easily impressed, but that was one of the most entertaining matches I've had the pleasure to see in a while. Here are your winners, Raiden, Gary, Jonathan, Turner, and James Hacksaw. That's a win worth celebrating. That's a statement win, Michael. That's a win that says, hey, everybody, look at me. And folks, if you're just joining us, I'm sorry to tell you that you just missed one of the most exciting SmackDown matches in recent memory. Jesus.